it can't be used for anything else. So if someone has a hip fracture, if someone has a tip hip fracture, any of those, you can't apply this because when you apply the traction on this, it's going to further harm that area. So it only has that one specific use. So that's why it's not really used a lot. It um, hasn't really been used on our calls for a while. So kind of a guideline, you can put your palm right above your knee and your palm right below your pelvis. And if it's like in this area, the injury, then you can apply this and no injuries anywhere else. So, and they tend to be in a lot of pain. Yeah, they tend to be screaming in pain because your femur is like one of the hardest bones to break. So it's gonna be really painful. So this will stop the screaming and relieve that pressure. Um, so this kind of job is to realign those bones because when it breaks, they kind of like shift. So this just puts them back in line. So it'll relieve that pressure. So if this leg's injured, you're gonna wanna measure on the uninjured leg. So bring it around, never lift it over the patient because if you drop it on them, that'll kind of be an issue. So this bar right here, is gonna go kind of mid thigh, it's gonna go right under their butt, so it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for them. And then this should measure about six to eight inches below the ankle. So if you just turn these to the left, this extends and tightens, and then just turn it to the right and it'll tighten up. So then you'll bring it back. I already measured this one, so it's like fine. And then you'll bring it back around. Normally patients don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I could scream. Because they'll be in so much pain. Um, so, are a little broken. so then I need a partner. Alexis, do you want to help me? Yeah. So you're going to have one person, you can come on this side, apply manual traction. So this is when you're going to grab the ankle and you're going to hold it up and pull. So this slightly realigns the bones. There still might be screaming and pain, but this applies like the own traction to try to like realign it. And then your partner is going to slide this under the leg. Just make sure that's like right under the butt. Yeah, move it up a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. And then you're just gonna place it back down. Um, the first strap that you always do on the hair attraction is the thigh strap. So this just goes through the loop. And then the next strap that you do is the ankle hitch. And before, sorry, before I did this strap, you do CSM. So pinch your toes, you wiggle your toes and then pedal pulse, and you're gonna do this after you apply it. So thigh strap, and then you do the ankle hitch. So we have two different hitches on some of our hair tractions. This is the common one that we carry. Um, there's another one that's just really simple. It just velcros on and it has the ring up end. So this one, you're gonna slightly lift the foot, slide it right at their heel. This crisscrosses across their ankle. And then the third ring here just pulls up, and then you put the hook through here. So just when you're doing this, make sure that it goes around the ankle, not the top of the foot, because when you apply traction, it's going to pull the foot down, and that's not what you want. You just want it steady on the ankle as best as you can. So you're going to lift up this. You're going to have a partner help you and put down the bar here. Cross these, and you're going to hook up this. You pull this thing out to release it if it's already tightened. You put the hook through the three loops. And then you're just going to tighten this. Basically until the patient stops screaming. That's kind of what we gauge it on. Because they'll feel that like great pressure. So I'm just going to keep it as this. <laughs> and then after you like hear them stop screaming, you know the bones realign, you're going to put the other straps. So when you're doing these straps, just make sure you don't put it right over the injury and make sure you don't put it over any joints. And then you can just apply like three straps. This one can go right over the ankle hitch. And then when you transport this patient to the ambulance, you're gonna put them on a long backboard and then you're gonna put them facing the opposite way they normally sit in the ambulance. Because if you put them with their head on the stretcher and they're looking out of the ambulance, this is too long that it won't close the ambulance doors. So you're gonna face them the other way so they're looking at the driver. So just make sure you do that when you transfer them that. Um, and CSMs after you apply, make sure you're not cutting off circulation. And that's basically it. Any other questions?